Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Dating makes me fucking sick. Especially because for some reason we just can't seem to get it right nowadays. A lot of women already have a lot of concerns about dating as it is, you know, concerns about safety. But clearly we need to start adding nut and nab to that list of concerns because apparently they nab in the tabbies. That's not a metaphor or a quote for anything. I'm literally talking about how apparently men are taking our shoes now. You know, what happens according? Is chivalry in the room with us? I was talking to the homie, you know, God the other day and I really just had to let him know I prayed. I said, God, you know, this generation of men it's really not your best work, big dog, but it's all right to let you know. Okay, friends, today we have a video that has been going viral on TikTok, and it's a warning. NYC fashion girlies, beware. Judging from the title, you wouldn't expect there to be that much tea, but oh me, oh my, my, my. I've only seen a couple seconds of this, but I've got to see it through, so I figured we would do it together, bestie. Ladies of NYC, be fucking aware. This man is out here on Tinder and Hinge, and he will steal from you. So this is a story about how that fucker stole my Mary Jane tabbies um, that my father bought for me as a birthday gift. I don't even know what tabbies are, but we about to find out why these shoes were, I guess the bee's knees, that this man felt the need to take them from this, this young lady. Okay, so how it all happened. So I'm walking around Soho and I see this really cute guy and we cross paths, we just lock eyes and that's really it. Fast forward in the evening, I get a message on Tinder and it's from the guy and he's like, hey, did I see you downtown? I didn't know we matched on Tinder before, but guess we did. We start chatting and then we ended up going out for drinks. We get drinks and everything seems like cool and like he seems like a nice guy and like someone I would just probably just hang out with for like a little fling and just like sleep with. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? She was just looking at him. Get it in. I can already see like right now, I can see in the background, his name starts with a J. Y'all ever mess with anybody with a J name or anybody who has a J in their name? Nine times out of 10, they gonna leave you traumatized. It's not like I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. Just let his name start with a J, I swear to God. After the day, he's pretty persistent about like seeing me again and hanging out. Okay, fast forward, we hang out again, he comes over and we sleep together. Per. Before we sleep together, we're like chatting about like fashion and stuff and he's like really wants tabbies and like he, I'm like, oh yeah, I have some tabbies and like, he's like, oh, I really want the boots. I need to know what the hype is around these damn shoes. <laughs> okay, so then fast forward to the morning, we have sex again. She said two times, okay, purr. So I guess it was good. Then I get up, I go and I brush my teeth. I come back, he's putting his clothes on and we chat a little bit more. So now we're chatting and he's like, oh, can I show you this playlist on Spotify? I feel like you really like it. And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, he doesn't have Spotify. We've already discussed this. So he, um, I give him my phone to go on Spotify to look it up. Red flag number one, why he ain't got Spotify on his phone? Why he ain't got, like what? How you gonna say, let me show you the Spotify playlist when you ain't even got Spotify? And I don't know about y'all, I'm not letting a rando that I just met touch my phone for any reason. That's a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Teach their own. I open my phone and everything for him. I give him the app to Spotify. He looks it up. So then he gives me back my phone. He's like, I can't find the playlist. I'm just like, okay, it's time to go. And he's like, I'm gonna head out. And I'm like, bye. And he's like, okay, like text me. And I'm like, okay, bye. The hours pass. I'm on my computer. I look over to my shoe rack over here. I have tabby boots up there. We were talking about the tabby boots and he was like referencing those. He barely glanced at the, the Mary Janes, okay? I look over there and they're gone. And I'm like, where are my tabbies? So I look like high and low, look under my bed, look at my suitcase, look at my closet, can't find them anywhere. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna be accusatory. I'm just gonna see if he knows where I put them. I go to Tinder to message him, unmatched, gone. I'm like, oh no, this bitch stole my fucking shoes. So I go, it's fine. We talked on the phone. I'm just gonna go um, to my call log and find his number. I go to the call log and he literally deleted the history of the call. So I can't find his number. And I'm like, so when you were on Spotify, you were actually deleting my your phone number from my phone. More of the story is don't fuck with this fucker named Joshua on Tinder, he's a dickhead. And if you know who he is, where he lives, or anything about him, fucking let me know because I deserve retribution and I want my fucking shoes back. Damn, she put him on blast. And also, child. 
in the ghetto. That's a lot. This is quite literally one of the most ghastly, wretched, deviously diabolical stories I've ever heard. The complete absence of decorum displayed by this broke bit, I mean, young man, is uncanny. So you mean to tell me she meets this random man on a dating app, coincidentally passes by said random man in the streets. Some would call that fate, I call it fuckery. Let's keep going here, shall we? After a brush with said random man, the random man texts her and was like, nice bumping into you. Somehow that leads down the rabbit hole of them going on a date and then boom, skis. They hit it off and they end up back at her place. Her place, her humble abode, where she stay, where she paying her rent, where she's paying rent, okay? They get in. You know what I'm saying? They muska, muska, Mickey Mouse. They're fornicating, baby making, fucking, okay? In other words. Then the next morning she wake up and send this man on his merry way and her shoes are missing. Jail, jail, jail. Officer, it was him. It's the fact that he deleted her number and did all that extra shit. That's some criminal activity. That's some premeditation. So she posted this on TikTok and you know how that goes. They find this man with the quickness and this is the update. So we're about to watch video number two, which is the update. And I hope they show the shoes because I really want to see what these tabbies are about. Like you really doing the most for a pair of shoes. I mean, okay, I won't say that she's doing the most because honestly, if somebody stole any of that is such a we just a weird sentence to be saying in general but yeah i would be pretty upset if somebody stole you know my favorite pair of shoes too and obviously if she noticed then i don't know i just want to see what these damn tabbies look like because i want to know why she's going through so much trouble to get them back and i also want to know why that man decided to go through so much trouble for a pair of shoes like why are you stealing shoes nigga and my how much do they cost like i'm like is this a vintage like one of a kind shoe i'm confused okay so i woke up this morning to the video getting even crazier and now there's memes it's on twitter uh and everywhere but update i got my tabbies back so no there's no way those are the tabbies, bro. There's no way those are the tabbies. You gotta be kidding me. The hooves? <laughs> those literally look like horse hooves. Hoofs. What's the word? Is it hoofs or hooves? Them horse ass shoes? Y'all were fine over them horse ass shoes, bro. That's crazy. Oh my God, let me not speak too out of turn because that's somebody's cup of tea. Because that's somebody's cup of tea. I'm not gonna yuck your yum. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, I love it, baby. That's wild. How much did that cost? I have to look it up later. Yeah, I ended up getting them back and I'll tell you guys exactly how. So after like finally finding him, he privated his Instagram. I couldn't really communicate with him through that. Um, I bitch. <laughs> Be about it, say it with your chest. You wanna take my shoes? Keep that Instagram on public. Like, the hell? Like, reach out to his sister. I reached out to like a bunch of people because people- She done got to your sister, bro. That's- <sighs> I reached out to like a bunch of people because people were giving me a bunch of information about him. So I was just trying to get in contact with him. Um, he finally calls me two hours later after he privated his account and starts to gaslight me and tell me that um, he didn't steal them and he doesn't know how it happened and what happened and he's like that's just out of my character I would never do that clearly it is within your character because your character is local and like I started feeling crazy because I'm like you're real he's this man is a psychopath um he was trying to convince me that he didn't steal it and I'm like how then tell me how what happened and he went into saying that he would give me money for it and that's when I knew he was fucking lying because he was like oh you I can give you five hundred dollars you know what I do for a living what do you do for a living no, because now I'm curious. Now I want to know what he does for a living. What do you do for a living that you don't have money to buy these who fast shoes that you need to be stealing them from other people? I'm confused. You talking about giving her five hundred to a thousand dollars? How much do the damn shoes cost? Jesus. You like I'll give you a thousand dollars, and I'm just like, oh, when you're offering money, that means you did it. Like 
an innocent person would not give a thousand dollars if they did not do it so that's right that's a good logic because i would not be offering nobody no type of money so then the plot thickens find out he has a girlfriend and <laughs> wait no 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 please tell me that it's an ex-girlfriend now no this is crazy this cannot be Oh, dude had a girlfriend this whole time. <gasps> that poor girl. <sighs> no, okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me let me finish this real quick. Find out he has a girlfriend and that he gave my tabbies to his girlfriend. Man, what type of broke ass behavior is that? How are you gonna steal shoes from another woman that you just cheated on your main woman? What? Wait, no, I'm confusing myself. So he cheated on his main chick with this girl. I'm not, she's not even a side chick. She's just, you know, a little one night stand type situation or whatever. Done stole old girl shoes and gave it back to his girlfriend. I'm like, I don't know if this, is this some sort of consolation prize? I'm like, ooh, sorry, babe. I fucking slipped and my dick slipped and so It's like, sorry, babe. I slipped in my dick, you know, just whoop, and somebody else and I got her shoes. Like, what? Is this some sort of consolation prize? Like, oops, sorry, babe. Tripped and fell on somebody else's pussy. <laughs> Here's some fucking horseshoes. The hooves, what are they called? Tabbies. The hell? Um, I sent him a screenshot of his girlfriend wearing my tabbies and not her wearing the tabbies and he's like an hours later at 3 a.m i get a text message and he's like i right, you caught me um there's no way there's no way that that's all he has to say this is not a whoopsie daisy that was premeditation like the hell he was up to some criminal activity if i do say so myself i'll give you back your shoes can you take down the video so this is him again gaslighting me being like i she was not joking. She posted receipts. He literally said, all right, you got me. I'll get them back to you. Give me a time and a place. And I'm just asking to remove the TikTok. It's, bruh. That's crazy. I didn't do anything. Then I sent him this. And then hours later, he's like, got me. I'm so dead. Because if you read the first, the energy from the first text message and the last text message, that's a 180. What happened to you didn't do it? Huh? Because I can see here, clearly, you say, I'd appreciate it if you would take that TikTok down until you prove I did it. People are DMing me for something that I didn't do. What happens to you Zina do it? Because right now you're, what? Because just a few hours later, you're admitting that you did so. That's wild. And I hope she kept it up because, you know what I'm saying, I'm reading into things here. And he said, until you prove that I did it. And she did. Lying ass. That's his girlfriend wearing my shoes, by the way. And, like, he thinks this shit is a fucking joke. This is another message he sent to me after. Wearing your shoes. He was literally smiling, like, the whole fucking time. He thinks this is funny. But I'm glad, you know, he brought him back. Did he have to gallop him back? You know what? Let me... Because, like I said, that's somebody's cup of tea, not mine, personally. But that's fine. Um, I'm confused. Hold on. I'm going to take a second real quick because I really need to look up the cost of these damn shoes because I am genuinely in a state of turmoil, okay? I'm in a state of confusion because I want to know. And maybe it's a sentimental value, you know what I'm saying? How much are tabbies? Okay, maison. Margiela, that sounds fancy. Why I can't find the cost of these damn shoes? You know it's expensive when they don't even have the price listed, y'all. That's crazy. So let me see how much. Okay, they're the tabby. I'm guessing they're the tabby Mary Janes. Bro, that's crazy. The official website does not even have like a price or anything. I'm scared. I want to know how much these shoes cost. Like. Forgive me if I'm, you know, on some peasant shit and I'm a swine or whatever and I don't know nothing about fashion and all that and these shoes is, I don't know, couture, high fashion, whatever it is, because I don't know nothing about that, but... 
<sighs> Something should have never left the furry community. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense. It says they feature a tabby split toe inspired by the traditional 15th century Japanese sock bearing the same name. So it's a little socks and sandals vibe, okay? Cool, got that? Okay, okay, it captures the avant-garde and insubordinate spirit of the maison and exists as a heritage classic. Okay, per love that. We love a little history behind the little tabby. He's a tabby napper. Nabbing tabbies. Yep, these some expensive ass shoes I'm seeing here. Okay, so the ones that I'm seeing here are about $900. And that begs the question, if you was just gonna give her the money anyways, then why did you take the shoe? Like, if you have the money to buy the shoes, it don't make sense that you need to go steal them from somebody else. Like, again, unless they're in very, very high demand and you cannot find them, it just... I mean, okay, I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm justifying why he took the damn shoes. There's still no reason to take the shoes, but I'm trying to make sense of the situation. And it just, the math is not math thing. It don't make sense. I hope the ex-girlfriend, sorry, I hope the girlfriend is an ex-girlfriend because I mean, if she stayed with him, I've seen bitches do stupider things, but you know what I'm saying? That's just, that's a lot. That's wild. Um, what? So many questions, so many questions. Um, like, how did he get out of there with a pair of shoes? Because, again, excuse the fuck out of me, but, like, don't most men not carry around bags? So, like, I'm sure that nigga had a wallet, but I'm like, and it's summer. Like, he probably wasn't wearing a jacket or anything like that. So, I'm just like, I'm confused on how he snuck past. Did he just wait for the right moment, nab the tabbies, and dip? He was like, gotta skedaddle. Like... genuinely confused so many questions so many questions but um anyways make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section um and let's talk about it <laughs> yo let's talk let's really really talk about it let's talk about the tabby napper let me know your thoughts your opinions what you would do if your tabbies got nabbed That's all I have for today's video. If you like this video and want to see more videos, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, tune in next time. Love you. Bye.